Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's continue to explore Demonta. Bloodstained journal. That could be illuminating. Most of the writing in this journal is illegible. The pages stuck together in the words obscured by dried blood. Made it to Demonta. Always lifts my spirits to find I'm not chasing something that isn't really there. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a good be able to get a good night's rest. Restock before heading further east. If something 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 this map this passage is accompanied by a map of the area, charting a path from the Canyon of Titan to Demonta. It seems mostly accurate, but bloodstains obscure large portions of it. I have something something Demonta in the two weeks I've been out here I've only found I found only impassable mountain terrain or radiation. Too hot for my suit. I am hopefully Wait, I am hopefully? I think it's supposed to say, I am hopeful that with all that pre-war tech, I'll be able to improve the suit's filter. Or at least fortify it so I can travel through the mountains. Um, wish I'd taken a stronger suit. <laughs> Instead of letting Donald have it. This really is a spectacular little community. The whole place is powered, and even the smallest shacks have climate control. The sheer amount of resources present in this place is... Mm -mm. Clicked on and I clapped my hands, turned around, and said, There you go, Holly. If I got that right, you should be able to pop that tape into this box here. And that's when she kissed me. I told her it wasn't a big deal getting the tape deck to work for her. That she didn't owe me anything, and then she did it again. She called me stupid. Then she called me smart. Then she called me handsome. <laughs> here for three years now. During the winter, the radiation is light enough that traitors come from the east. I don't... I don't think I'll find a place that'll make me happier than this amazing little town. Holly's beautiful, and charming, and funny. But I still wake up at night thinking about her. Her laugh, and her mind, and her mouth. And maybe now, maybe. No, no. Damn. I guess he didn't update his journal very often. If there were three years between the passage up here and the passage down here. I've been here for three years now. That's really sad, though, because that's obviously journal on the body, so he's, he's dead. In fact, is that... Is that Holly right next to him? Man and a woman, I think so. Aw, oh, look, they're almost touching hands. You fucking robot monsters. That always cracks me up. Holy shit, I actually got some friendly fire there. I didn't think it was touching her. Huh. Also, I thought that was a single shot, so apparently I messed up multiple things there. Anyway. Pew. Nice. Thank you, Red. I love you too. Oh, somebody's inside of there. Cool, cool. 
Oh, and Pusepi just leveled up, which is good, because I was going to have to heal her. But now I don't. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations. Pusepi, how many points do you have? Three? That is not nearly enough. Yeah, I've got a bunch of attribute points to distribute, but I keep forgetting that, so I'm just going to keep leaving them. Whatever. Werewolf Wally. Oh, that's the radio guy, right? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. What the? Did one of you robots figure out the intercom? Well, you can't come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Unless I hear a human hello, I ain't opening this door. Uh, hello? Wait a minute, that sounded awfully real. Who's out there? It's the Desert Rangers, we're here to help. Hi. Rangers. What are Rangers doing this far east? Oh, who the fuck cares? If you kill those robots, you're my new best friends. Come in, come in. Alright, so what's happening with all these robots? I said come in. All right, I'm coming. All right, hi. Should we close the door behind us? It's a little packed in here for all of all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people. Say, um, this wouldn't be an inappropriate time to mention that we have. A bunch of dildos on us, would it? I'm just saying, if you wanted to, um... Never mind. Where even is he? There he is. No, no, that's red. It's the wrong guy. Uh, there you are. The guy really does look like a werewolf. He's got big, thick gray hair and a big, thick beard. With a big white smile blazing through it. Tell you, Rangers, you got here in the nick of time. One second more and those metal motherfuckers would have blown my house like the big bad wolf. Blown down my house, rather. You have my eternal thanks. And also beer, if you want. It's in the fridge. Metal motherfuckers? You mean robots? Damn straight. I don't know what happened exactly, but all of a sudden, all those dead robots have been rusting out in the... Airplane Graveyard just got up on their little metal feet. Good as new. Tippy-toed into DeMonta and started killing everybody in sight. Goddamn creepy is what it is. So they just suddenly got up, so something sent a signal that reactivated them. Huh. Where's this Airplane Graveyard? Just north of here. Might have been a military facility back in the day. Now it's a scavenger's dream. Acres of rusty old tech just waiting to be explored. Even supposed to be a missile silo back there somewhere. Got a lot of traders coming to DeMonta to collect scrap metal, engines, etc. Well, this robot business is going to put the kibosh on that. Hmm. Okay. Well, if it's called Airplane Graveyard, then perhaps that's where the, um... The plane I'm looking for that has the wording on the side. I don't remember what it's supposed to say, but the one that... Red wants us to find? It's supposed to contain treasure? It might be there. And more importantly, there's a pretty good chance that somewhere around here is where the missing part that I need for the prison thing is the treads. There's a missile silo. Let me try that again, but English. There's a missile silo. And that's what I've heard. It's supposed to be booby trap, though. Very few who go in there ever come back alive. So, you've actually heard of the Desert Rangers this far out? DeMonta's pretty far from our base. Well then, you must be packing a pretty powerful tower back at, what's it called? Ranger Center? Your dispatcher comes in pretty clear when the weather's right. We'd like to use your radio tower. 
We need to hook it up to a Watson Watt Adcock antenna array. A what now? A Watson Horsecock what? Oh, for triangulation! Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, as long as it doesn't interfere with me bringing the music to the people, go ahead. Wait a second, what am I saying? DeMonta's got a problem, and you seem like a group of problem solvers. How about you well-armed individuals doing DeMonta a little favor? Let me correct the grammar. How about you well-armed individuals do DeMonta a little favor before I let you pass my fancy lock? Okay, so I can just talk him out of it, but... I mean, I do want to help him anyway. Robots have been in the shadows this whole mission. We'll be better armed if we can complete it and get new intel from HQ. Sounds so grand... grandiose? I think that's how you pronounce it. When you put it that way, Ranger Team Excellent. Here, take the key. So, how about our problem? Sure, I'll help. As you might have noticed, we got a bit of a robot problem. Now, I'm sure you cleared out a fair number of them getting here, but more and more keep coming out of the airplane graveyard. And I'm afraid that even if you kill all the ones in town, as soon as you leave, we're going to be infested all over again. So me and all the surviving citizens of DeMonta would sure appreciate it if you could, if you cats went in there and found out what's been sending all those robots to kill us. And when you do find it, we'd just be tickled pink if you was to blow it straight to Kingdom Come. What do you say? Sure. Groovy. And listen, that place is a scavenger's dream. An enterprising group such as yourselves could probably find enough prime tech in there to make the fight worthwhile. I hear there's even an old missile silo, missile silo back there somewhere, with all kinds of treasure. It's a dangerous place, but you're dangerous folks. I'm sure you'll manage. You'll find the entrance to the graveyard just past the El Sagon Diner. Have Barnes said he'd Dave Barnes said he thought he'd heard noises coming out of the old hangar near there. Cool. So, let's help ourselves to some beer. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> Cape Owl playlist. Do I have enough for everybody? Let's see. Um, almost. Sorry, Corn Cane, but you're gonna have to go without. Warm skunk beer. Mmm. I can't even drink it. I can't even drink the beer. What? Lame. Mr. Roboto. Craft work, of course. Blinded with science. And if we run out of these, just play Lou Reed's Metal Machine Music for a few hours. This old jukebox has been restored beautifully on the outside, but the insides have been hollowed out and turned into a cabinet for Werewolf Wally's record collection. Alright, let's finish the mission that we started out on. So where's the key? Who has the key? Seriously, who, who got the key? Where, where's the key? There's the key. Could have just picked the lock myself, I'm sure. Alright, let's hook it up. Um, oh, there it is. Been carrying this around with me for so long. Thank you. 
Roger, Team Echo. Relay signal coming in loud and clear. Uh, stand by as researcher Murkow makes for calibrations. We may have new orders for you. Stand by. One moment, General. Uh, Woodson, if you could give me the signals from Towers 1 and 2. Rock and hope and superior technology. Share our vision of a perfect union between man and machine. Mercy is in the bullets of our guns. Sisters, it is in the tips of our bayonets. It... Good. North-south axis is dialed in. Now for east-west. Towers three and four, if you please, Woodson. The best of mankind and make it better. With science. Death of every sinner who is too blind to turn to the light. Excellent. All signals locked in and holding steady. Triangulating now. Location is 34 degrees, 8 minutes, and 2.77 seconds north. 118 degrees, 19 minutes, and 18.10 seconds west. Hmm. That would put it at... Good God. Can this be right? This reading is in California. I didn't think California still existed. We'll all be goddamned. Uh, Rangers, unless you've got extremely urgent business where you are, I want you to return to base ASAP. You are being reassigned. Copy? Mm, Demonta's being overrun by robots, sir. We'd like to finish them off first, if we can. Robots? Why is it always robots these days? All right, Echo One, do what you need to do, but get back here as soon as you're done. Don't stop to smell the flowers. You read me? Copy, General. On our way. Roger, Echo One. See you soon. Ranger Command out. I'm probably going to stop to smell the flowers. There's another person trapped in there. Okay, so California exists. That's a pretty good discovery. Alright, where am I in this map? This place is huge. That's the plane. That's back where I came from. Um, let's pick a direction and let's go. Alright, there's robots in here. Hi. Holy shit! I thought these things were cute. Not anymore. And Theodore is blocking the way. Good job. Can you can you move, please? Okay, he can't move there. Even though it says he can move there, he actually can't. Uh, all right, whatever. Shotgun is not a very good weapon here. Let's go for the energy weapon. Ah, right, I can shoot twice. Or I could do a burst. Let's do a burst. 91. Almost dead. Oh, there's more? Oh, there is more. 
All right, Theodore. Oh my God, when's your turn? I need to move you. Let's just move back. Oh right, he's gonna go crazy because I can't control him. What are you doing? can sure move. I'm surprised. Alright, let's move in so at least we don't block the way anymore. My view's broken. Why does the game keep breaking? Look at this. Do you see this weird shifting image? That's my ghost camera. That's where it thinks my camera is, but for some reason my actual camera is stuck here. What the fucking hell? I'm moving my camera, but my actual camera is stuck. What is wrong with this game? Look, do you even see how the uh, like the particle effects and stuff are oriented to the actual camera? When I rotate it, all that stuff changes. Uh. Okay, well, we're not in combat anymore, right? So let's just test making a save. I'm going to make a test save and let's load it. Please fix it. Maybe reinitializing the camera will fix it. Okay, I fixed it. Thank God. It's a sausage gun. Damn, I need to sell my shit. Maybe I should just put everybody's additional attribute point in strength so they can carry more. We have another level up too. Harper. Four skill points. Nope. Gonna save those. Yeah, you know, there's actually a trinket to increase the carrying capacity, I believe, which... I think I might want to put on. I don't think I have it on me, though. I think it's back at base. But I was thinking, like, oh, there's no way I'll ever need that, but I think I actually want it. What's up with this wall? A shoddily constructed wall if you set your mind and your shoulder. Okay. Doesn't look any different than the other walls, but for some reason it's somehow weak. I won't complain. Nice. Oh, it's an actual instance. Um. Alright, let's finish this first. Another copy of the Necronomicon. Okay, this actually continues out very far, so let's go in here. I see a tall, dark stranger, says Madame Blavatsky. Um, let's see, do, do, do. a dark, broken-down bar. You can tell that at some point it was supposed to look like a classy airport lounge, but the sleek furniture is all ragged and patched, and the mounted model airplanes are cracked with age. There are also dead bodies all over the floor, and in the back, a robot beating up a fortune-telling machine. 
Oh, that's what Madame Blavatsky is, the, the machine. Model M keyboard. That is a classic, I believe. Where's the... I was going to say, where's the robot? Uh, oh, there's a doorway there. Hi. Oh, God. Why is your name 4-2? That's a really bad chance to hit. Pew pew! Damn it, it's all clogged up. Almost got it. You poor, poor machine. A former animatronic gypsy in a glass case. The glass is shattered, as is everything else in the case. The sign above her reads, Madame Blavatsky, Mystic Fortune, 25 cents. It's all broken. Lost one scrap. Oh, you drop a co you drop in a coin-shaped piece of scrap and hear a quiet clink. But nothing happens. Okay, maybe I can repair it. Uh, does anyone have the repair skill anymore? I think you do, right? But you're not very good at it. Because I remember my melee dude had the skill. What's your skill? Ooh, two? Can I even... Well, it's not even popping up, so maybe you actually can't repair it. Yeah, it's not even popping up as an option. What about reprogram? No. That'd be a mechanical repair, if anything. I feel like I should be able to repair it. But none of my skills actually work for it. Nope. Nothing happens. What if I just keep trying? How much money do I have? I have 7,571. Keep trying! Now oh, fuck it. What do you bet if you do that like a hundred times, something special happens? Before I go in that door, let's see what's through here. Whoa! Fancy. This place looks like an odd mix of a strip club and a nightclub. With a bar on one wall and a tiny stage with a stripper pole on the other. Lewd texts are scrawled on the walls and tables, along with confusing messages such as Only glittering gems of hatred and We were here before the fall fall what the hell fall out and then it just gets all messed up and from the booze on display the people here were heavy drinkers what were they trying to forget yeah this place is interesting that that is literally a pile of bodies a bunch of leather clad jerks <laughs> strangely it doesn't look like they were killed by robots they all have guns in their hands, and bullet holes in their bodies. Looks like they had a gunfight. One has a backpack in his hand, and little vials of white powder are spilling out of it. An assortment of varied patches covers the jerk's jackets, but each one has a small matching patch on the front that says, Angry Man, 
and a large one on the back with their name. Miroslav, Silencer, Degaziel, Sander, Per, Corin. Is that like a reference to a movie or a game or something? What the hell is this? A bunch of leather-clad jerks. That's weird. This jerk is riddled with the telltale burns of laser fire. A patch on the back of his jacket. A patch on the back of his jackets reads Rochambeau. While one on the front says Angry Man. This corpse is named Odin. And he too was an angry man. The body has been smashed and the floor around it splintered and cracked from a tremendous force. Huh? I'm guessing it's similar descriptions for everybody. It's... Wait, wait, wait. It's Dale. The guy who wanted a mark of Titan from you so he could get to get to DeMonta. Looks like his trip ended badly. The bandana across his forehead had a, has a bullet hole right in the center for it and it's soaked with blood. Dale, no! Bryos? Bryos a freak? Name was Thomas, and a patch on his sleeve tells you he was one of the angry men. He tended the bar. Okay. Hmm. Aw, oh, but it's a blunt. My only dude here is Blade. Requires 6 strength. That is a very special weapon. 25 damage. Oh, but it's 7 AP. That's a lot. Super armor penetration, though. Interesting. I'm going to keep that just because it's cool. Shit's too heavy. Still too heavy. Alright. Yeah, if I don't find somebody to sell to, I'm going to have to, like, process all my weapons. This place wasn't abandoned that long ago. There are still half-finished drinks on the bar, and the ice hasn't melted yet. Huh. This chalkboard has the words Bar Tab written in big letters on top. You take a look at some of the names. Simon, or Simone, worst client ever. Amount illegible. <laughs> These have got to be references to, like, books and movies and games and stuff. Can I use the poles? That'd be nice. His name was Wooz. Okay, I think that's everybody. Poles examined. Shiny poles. Shiny, shiny, shiny poles. Alright, what's up with this? Another false wall? Yep. This place had really bad walls. Does this go outside? It does. Where the hell am I? What the hell? The goat. So that's probably just the third entrance. Well, actually, that's the proper entrance, because the others we made ourselves. Yeah. That's the front of it. Okay. Octotron. Guards. Oh, on the inside. Um. Yeah, let's go back there. Goat? Don't be scared. Come here. 
Uh, doesn't seem to be a special goat, though. Doesn't even have a name. Just named Goat. You can stay, my derpy little friend. find. Was it just this? Oh, use perception. You could probably shimmy underneath the truck to get to the other side, though you'd need to be fairly nimble to avoid the twisted debris on the ground and rusty metal hanging from the undercarriage. Huh. Is that like a skill? Or... Oh, that's weird. There's some sort of tubular... like doorway instance portal thing. Uh, anyway, we're good. No thanks. Alright, Clyde, what's up? Good to see you again, Rangers. And yeah, I know. We still don't have any water. Some joke, huh? But maybe you could help us out with that. Oh, I thought I recognized that truck. Yeah, that's the, the people I helped at, um, the Valley of Titan. Okay, how, how do you not have any water? It's raining. Well, as you know, those clowns back in the canyon stole all our water. So we came back to DeMonta to get some more from our supplier. Silent Spring Water Company. But when we got here, the whole damn town was overrun with robots. Silent Spring? <laughs> They're great. Got one of the only working deep wells in this area. If you need water, see them. Of course, you can't get to them right now. There's robots in the way. How many robots? 12? 30? 25.2? Too many. No idea where they came from, but they've made a mess of the whole town. There's dead bodies everywhere. I hope the guys at Silent Springs are okay. And well, what can I do? Well, we're kind of trapped here. The water company is just beyond this alley, but the lobby's crawling with robots. And we don't have enough firepower to take him out. You guys, on the other hand, are loaded for bear. Clear the lobby and make sure everybody at Silent Spring is okay, and we'll treat you all to the water you can carry. Retreat, we'll treat you to all the water you can carry. What do you say? Of course. Great. And the truck is keeping the robots from getting to us, for now. But there's a way around it through the building to the south. When you clear out the robots, we'll get you your water. See you there. Away to the south. Is he talking about the strip club place? Is that south? Yes. Yep, that's south. Or I could just go under, but uh, let's not do that. I think I'd just rather go north, though. Let's go see what's back here. Oh yeah, there's another person trapped in here, right? Yeah. And there's a toaster. Hmm. Alright, scratch that. Could blow it up. But we can probably just go around. hear chains rattling on the other side? Sounds like this door was well secured. Oh. Well, in that case, let's go around. Well, you know, fuck it. Let's blow this up. I'm sure I've got some shitty dynamite somewhere in my inventory.
All right, let's go save that person first. Let's make sure there's no slicer dicers around. Looks pretty clear. Oh, right. No. Don't talk to you. You are just useless. I mean, I could have you go up to him, but who even cares? I, I guess. Sure. Red, you sound exactly like a zombie. Did I just hear a screaming goat? Guess one of my goats screamed. It's okay, guys. You'll be fine. Don't worry. They're excitable. If you can kill this thing, I would be amazed. Oh my god, he did it! He did something! Let's just go ahead and wait for them. Oh, wait, I didn't even realize that thing was there. Hi. Uh... Thankfully, this thing is very, very slow. Two friendly fires. Nice. That's another reason I don't like melee people. They tend to get shot in the back. Really? You rolled a 29? Oh, right, those things only have three armor, so it, uh, it doesn't actually scale well. Shit. Should've gone for that thing. Forgot about that. Alright, uh, we got a few, quite a few turns before this thing goes, so let's kill this thing. I forgot about you. Nice. Uh, quite a few turns, no need to burst. In fact, I'm just gonna save you. Echo one. Congratulations. Corin Kane, level twenty-one. Um, cool. Three points. Can't do anything. What a wreck! The red uh, Naga hide, Naga hide booths have been torn to pieces. The counter is smashed, and all the stools are bent. The wreckage continues. The stove and counters are broken. The floor is covered with shattered plates, and the walk-in freezer's door shows signs of considerable smashing. A truly ancient sign reads, Chang's Famous Chinese Diner. Most of the paint is faded and flaking. 
The words only legible because of a relatively recent touch-up with what looks like crayons. Whoever did that could have done a better job staying in the lines. Oh, it's like a family-owned restaurant. See, it's fine. It's fine. Bin? Who's Bin? Hold on for a second. Let me just first see if I have any chance at all. Of course not. Hello. Please don't hurt us. We're just looking for our daughter. Ha have you seen a teenage girl running around anywhere? Or... Or dead? Uh, no? Who's your daughter? Her name is Bin. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, by the way. She was out picking veggies in the garden patch when the robots started attacking. And by, the t and by that time, it was too late. We couldn't get out of the diner to go look for her. Have you seen her? No? Uh, where's the garden patch, though? Yeah, we grow all the vegetables for the diner out in a little plot on the west of the diner. It's walled in, so we thought it was safe. But now... Did you say you saw them? No, um... West of the diner. Okay. I'm sorry we haven't seen her. I, I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh god, where is she? Listen, you saved us. Maybe you can save her. If she's still alive. If you find her, alive or dead, can you bring her back home? She's everything to us. Of course. Alright, when did the robot attack start? Uh, this morning? I don't know anymore. How did this happen? Those robots have been resting in the airplane graveyard since my granddad was a kid. Now all of a sudden they get, they get up and start killing people? Okay. Um, I already know about the graveyard. I guess I'll ask about it. Demonta wouldn't exist without it. It brings traitors and scavengers from all over. Okay. Okay, west of the diner. So west is this way. Oh. There it is. Yeah, this place is really large. Okay, well, before this episode becomes too long, I think I should end it here. So, we'll go see if we can find their daughter next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.